Hi guys, uh, today we are going to see the electrical load shadow. How to read electrical load shadow? So first thing I showed in on sample load shadow on here. So first of all, I am going to show you the how to read the electrical load shadow in the from the new one. That means the new guys. So that's why I showed this one this video. So see here, this is a simple format of one electrical load shadow. So I showed him here. So first of all, we need to read a project. So what is the project? This is one the proposal to Vilas, the, any of the project. So mostly the project name we need to find out here. So after that, we need to read the DB's name. So what is the name of DB? That means the DB, any of the electrical system, the panel name, the DB or some DB, MDB, whatever you have. So here we got the name of the panel. So here I showed the DB GF1 and then feed from MDB1. What mean we feed from MDB1? The feed from means the supply has been come came from the MDB. So that's the thing will be showed here. Feed from MDB. So that's why we here mentioned for feed from MDB. So after that the location of DB. So where is the DB has been installed? That means they're going to install. So this is the thing will be mentioned here. This is a DB has been installed for uh, ground floor. After that the DB plot number. The what's the number of plate and area that means the place the place of the area so this is the thing will be we have in in top of the corners the mostly this is the general format so this is the way we read for these are the terms after that the step by step we need to read the db's uh, load schedule first thing the rating of incoming that means the what is the incoming the total db has been the electrical panel going to control through the the main that the main isolator of MCB whatever you have that one going to control so that's why here the rating of incoming isolator so we need to consider the rating of incoming isolator so we need to read for incoming isolator so here the 40 ampere TP isolator has been a incoming main isolator so this is the main main one for here this is the main switching on switching of the function doing for this total electrical panel so after that the rating of ELCB Suppose you are making the final distribution port here LCB is came otherwise you can make the SMDB here came for a MCCBs you can make a, a MDB here, here come for MCCB so here I showed for the DB that's why here came for ELCB so different types of ELCB showed here so how many section has been here available see here so here four sections are available in, in this page and the next page also available on the one section totally the five sections are available in this db so total five sections what are the uh, section having a what are the lcb rating so see here read the four pole 40 ampere 100 milliampere lcb has been the first section and second one is 40 ampere and 30 milliampere per second section and then third section 40 hundred and fourth section 40 hundred the same like that the for uh, up to fifth so this is a thing we need to read for the ELCB that means the rating of ELCB after that we need to read for the serial number this is the as is the serial number the how many serials that mean having here one two three like that after that the circuit number so how many circuits are available in here see here the first circuit that means the here circuit means the three phase or y b the three things has been completed has been called for the one circuit and then ne next R Y B has been called for second circuit. So that's the thing we have mentioned for the R1, Y1, B1 and R2, Y2, B2. The circuit 1 and circuit 2, circuit 3, circuit 4. This has been continued for up to fifth section. So this is the thing I showed here. After that we need to read the uh, MCB rating. What is the rating of here mentioned here? So see here. This is the MCB rating has been mentioned here. So 10 ampere, 10 ampere and 20 ampere, 32 ampere, whatever has been mentioned here. So this is the thing we need to read here. After that, we need to read for the CCT wire size. That means the current carrying conductor wire size. This is the main wire size. So this is the based on the ampere. If you, in, you are using for 10 ampere here, mentioned for 2.5. If you use 20 ampere here, mentioned for 4 ampere, 4 square amount. That means the square amount, the cable square amount has been mentioned here. This is for CCT wiring. That means the wire size, current carrying terminal wire size. After that, the section ECC. That means the at continuity connection wire size has been mentioned here. So this is the term has been the we need to read for the first of the electrical load schedule. After that, the 
points are where is the available these points in the room that means the what kind of room or area so staircase and then kitchen hall spare external kitchen hall so where is the place has been mentioned for these other things so for, uh, one other one i have forgot it here so if you using a lighting load you can use for 40 100 if you can use a socket load you can use for 40 30 this is the thing for basic of alc we choosing so this is a need to check here also so here room or area we need to check here the room where is the point has been available after that the points has been mentioned here which which is the thing has been installed there so see here these points has been known for me but the new guys you don't know see fan excess fan you don't know so the expansion has been mentioned here the what is the thing has been mentioned here that means LP, LPG means light and then C C fan metal ceiling fan and then e, X men extra fan 13 ampere socket and twins water heater hand dryer cooker whatever has been mentioned here so this is the thing here the staircase having seven light has been installed so see here in mention for seven so what is the rating of wattage has been installed here so what is the space that means the which phase or phase or y phase what is the phase has been installed here so that's the space as also mentioned here after that the finally has been remark this remark has been showing what is a special thing we need to add here so that's the thing we need to check here so this is the finally the total db has been completed as the finally the load total load connector load has been mentioned here so this is a very important thing because of the we need to calculate the load of the tvs and then after that the incoming cable size the cable size and then out and the earth continuity connecting cable size also mentioned here this is the way of we need to read the electrical load shell for the simple way so if you have any doubt please comment here thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel